All right, boys, I don't do these often, but I'm going to react to the newest gameplay. They put a whole game out between Dez and Clef. If you guys haven't been living under a rock, you know Dez and Clef are two of the best players in the world. So we'll get to see them play the game, Madden 24, before it comes out. Wish I could have did this with the beta, talked to you about it. But before we get into this game, I got three things I want to talk to you about the beta. One, the movement feels actually worse. It's actually slower, more clunkier than it was this year. Uh, man coverage is better because you just can't click on. The user is worse. Clicking on wide receivers, pulling them away from the knockout is way tougher. The moves in the open field are worse. It's going to be even tougher to make why they watch highlight videos. Um, two, I'll give you this. Tons of new animations. Absolutely love the new animations. It's the one time I've played a game in 20-plus years of playing Madden where I was like, wow, this is a new animation. I never saw pretty much every other tackle was a new animation. So, Tons of new animations. I know a lot of people has made a big deal about the Mahomes throw, but quarterbacks have been making that throw for years in Madden. It just looks different, so it's not something to overreact to. Uh, and then, lastly, I felt like the playbooks, they removed a lot of stuff. Obviously, tight offset. You guys know was my baby in Madden 18, Madden 20, and this year. So there's no more tight offset, at least Y out. I had to look through the playbooks a little bit more. I didn't do it that much on the beta, but it looks like tight offset is kaput. It's out of the game. That's tough. I, I think they added a bunch of new cute formations, but the routes are just boring, man. Every corner route goes up the field. They're not sharp. There's no good post routes. I, I they're just dumbing down the game so much in the playbooks. I wish there was better routes. It's gonna, it's gonna make us all have to run certain playbooks that actually have a sharp corner route or a good post route or something like that. Similar to Madden 18, where everybody had to run West Coast because that was the only post route that worked. So. Wish the playbooks had better routes for everything, but let's get into this game. Let's watch it. You know, I haven't played the beta in a couple weeks now, so who knows? Maybe I'll see something new. As we got Clef and Dez, I mean, like I said, two of the best players in the world. And we got Nick, and we got our boy, one of the, oh, he's going up top early. Oh, no knockout. You see that new animation right there, Stefan Diggs. Wow. I mean, I don't even know if they're going to replay this, but I, I want to replay it. I mean, look at this. Th last year... Every year from here on out, this would have been knocked out. This would have been tackled or something like that. Probably the best thing this year is new animations. Look at that catch. Now, I would go as far to say even that even if that's a deep knockout, he doesn't even touch him. He's just out of there. Stefan Diggs, as he should, going up top right there. And that looked like a man blitz. I mean, let's see the pressure here as we get. I mean, I don't think they're told to really set up any blitzes as you see this guy taking the longest angle ever. They went up top to Diggs right there. Gets a touchdown. Let's see what they got to say. Yeah, apparently this guy works works for EA. So. Well, we already started off with a touchdown, so we should probably let people know what we're doing here. Uh, these guys playing uh, just a rigged game here. Dez rocking the Chiefs. Clef is rocking. Oh, so Clef went up top. Hey, before I could even talk about it, you, you got right into it. But obviously. Oh, the bumping. A bump. Oh, he didn't bump. He didn't bump into the purple, though. Last year, we would have seen these guys bump into each other right here, but he didn't bump into them. That's good. But obviously, if you watch NFL football, that is not the way the game is played. So we went through and we tuned press chances, especially if you got a good receiver. Um, don't mean uh, press. You still can press in spots. The thing about Mutt that's like... The thing about Mutt that's different is like, dude, there's no bad corner against a good wide receiver in Mutt. Like, let's be honest. We're playing mutt, boys. Rags, yeah, you can move Stefan Diggs and get him on a third corner like real life, which is a benefit of Rags. A benefit of Rags, a benefit of CFM is a better player over an average player. And mutt, they're all pretty good. So, like, you're going to have a 50-50 RNG on these beat press animations. We'll cover three. High ball. I mean, he is absolutely wide open. She's like... I don't know if these zone drops were on or this guy, but these deep blues are nowhere. R1's open. And that guy's open. Like, this is open in every Madden forever, but, like, for these deep blues to be 10, almost 15 yards away, man, that's tough. That Normally, he'd get hit sooner than that. But once again, this is regs. It's not Julius Pepper's safety out there. You know, it's... Let's see a little RPO. Oh, RPO. Like see what I mean? A new animation. Never see an animation like that. Our beta, we saw more players in our beta this year than ever before. We got more feedback in that beta than ever before. And man coverage being OP. Audibles. Man press being OP. These were things that our players called out. And we, we took 
the opponent has to adjust that because of the free snap. Oh my gosh, this dude on the drag was so open. Audible just screwed. Clef has the bills. Audible just got him in a blender. Double A. Oh, good pass. Honestly, a good catch. Good animation on a catch right here. This is an underrated thing. I don't know if you do it, but man, that's a clean catch. It's just an underrated thing. I don't know if that's newer, but but that looks smooth. Here we go. He's talking about right now. Maintain the momentum. Seam pass. Ooh, good breakup. I can't lie. This is caught 10 times out of 10. Trips tight end against cover three. And he had, that corner actually played really tough right here. I don't know if you can get a better pass lead to the inside and want to catch that around the H rather than the C. You know, if this pass is in here, maybe better pass, he won't catch it. But for him to get this, that's a good zone. As much as I talked about the bad zones earlier, that, that was a good deep blue right there, I'll tell you. <clears throat> this We'll see how good zone is here. Ooh, we try to free form. Gets it in, gets it incomplete. I mean, look, it, he needed a free form this, though. That's the only way he gets this in here. Clef has a deep blue out here. Trusted him to guard circle here. And he tried to free form to the corner. Doesn't get it with McKinnon. I wonder if a better receiver there might get that. Might get that, especially a taller one. Oh, that's a good pass. Oh, good catch. Oh, my goodness. A little bump. We talked about the bumps all year. A little bump right there, but he fights through. Goes the square. Big catch in traffic there. Jeez. Third down. I swear players get magic on third down and fourth down. A run play? Ooh, oh, that look, that look clean. Dude, them dudes blocked right there, I'll tell you. All these guys, all you all you runners, definitely held on Definitely held on to the blocks right here. What's the second goal? 6-1. Let's see if he tries quarterback draw. He does. Ooh. Ooh. Definitely not going quarterback draw, 6-1. Five wide again. Oh, he's going quarterback draw again. He liked what he saw. Ooh. Got to go for it here. Fourth and goal. Circle. Oh, good lurk. Oh, and Kelsey drops it. Good lurk. He just guessed here. Like, just guessed where he's going to go with his, his user. I mean, obviously, circle's wide open. But he he just kind of guessing right here. And when, when in doubt, throw to Kelsey. And he actually knocks it down. Good job. We should... The high ball. There we go. That's good. Uh, that's on the passing side. On the catching side, if the receiver has to contort his body in a weird way to make the catch, he can just drop it because he's contorting weird. Nice. Uh, so we uh, addressed it on the catching side, and it's a lot more animation content where defensive backs can't hit uh, receivers while they're in the air. Nice. So, well, even, on, even on that drop touchdown, that was something that I think last year was probably caught most of the time. Oh, we see a rollout? Oh, my goodness. That looked really good. No, we got to zoom this back in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This looks like a clean rollout. And what's right, if you guys watch the play art, these linebackers are in contain. Oh, no, this guy's in a contain right here. Let's see how he does. I mean, actually brutal when we look at it. Like, this guy was in a contain. I don't know if we can see it again. That's a contain on the defensive end. I mean, this was the, the meta last year was 3-3 pinch contain, and then the linebackers go on contain. Obviously, this year it doesn't work, work like that, defensive end in contain. And, honestly, he did a pretty – he gets inside. I don't know if he double teamed that guy, but it doesn't look like it because this guard picks up him, and he moves. He moves out of there, man. That's tough. That, that was tough. We missed it last year. Running gun. No, he has bazooka. So he makes this throw running to the left on the run with no ability. That's tough. Or he might have a pass. Josh Allen might have a passing ability. So who knows? But definitely way different than Madden 23 as far as rolling out with the quarterback. Uh, this is Clef with the ball here. He has the flat. There's no corner out here. And this is what we mean about deep blues, man. That's just corner strike. This is a C route, which is great for the game if this works. And once again, Josh Allen getting out of the pocket fairly easily. But people want their deep blues to play this corner route, right? But if you want that, then you're going to give up the streak. And that's what Clef's looking at. Can I hit the corner route or streak? What's this guy going to play right here? And he's bailing. You know, he's not even worried about this, this, uh, this corner route at all. You know, he's not going to give up the streak. Honestly, good animation. Get your feet down. Does not get the knockout. Great throw. On the run again. Running back's wide. He goes there. Ooh, that's what I mean about the user. Like, 
Tough. Oh, he just dropped it on the high ball. That's that's good. But I, I man, let's cover two. Oh, oh wow, what a match out there! And then he did nothing. This is a a, a squat or a cloud. You can tell it's cover two another year in a row where if they're five yards off the ball, it's cover two. But you see this guy, and then he turns his back. He doesn't stop, which we would love our corners to do that. Now, obviously, he should. There's nobody else over there from the guard. But there, I don't know. I mean, a soft squat will do that, and a great job by the cloud there. Although he didn't do nothing about the pass, but he matched up there. And, and we saw Micah Hyde come over in the deep half. That was a great play by Micah Hyde. He has a star for a reason. Oh, that's a pick. Late on the throw here. You got to hit that right there. Cover two again. Nice squat right now. By That's Jester Davis White. He shoots down a little bit on Kelsey. Look at this. He shoots down a little bit. Then squats back, drops back. Boom. Great play by White. Obviously, Flood is not the best play for cover two ever. Uh-oh. The meta play. Is it good this year? Oh, the tight end flips instead. Oh, that's kind of a patch a little bit. Normally, the running back would flip. That's the tight end over there. Uh, Gabe Dishes is fit. Uh, and it was a, a rather easy fix. That we just said, if you're going to flip the play, we're going to make the tight end cross the field. He's going to keep it. I mean, that makes sense. You shouldn't be able to flip. I mean, but at the same time, we, I was, <laughs> in Mutt, the tight ends are the same speed as the wide receiver for the most part. But, I mean, that, it's not going to do too much. The biggest thing, it takes a little bit longer. Nothing open. He's going to try to swing in a circle. Oh, no way he makes that. Thank you. That was, that was scary right there. He makes that throw. All right. Oh, that's a pick. Oh, my gosh. So, purple zone? Yep. Bag. He's going to go crib, too. One of my biggest complaints about Madden in the past is how DBs will always fall when they catch a pick. You guys realize they dive and fall. Right here we catch a pick, boom, and he cribs it big time. Little toss. That looks so obnoxiously slow. I From this one split second of toss, I'll tell you, toss sucks. Oh, my God. Like, that was – it's working, though. Who knows? Worked a little bit, but I, I thought it was too slow to work. Cover three again. Going for the corner out. Ah, that was a oh, good knockout. A new animation. Now, like, this is what I mean about the playbooks. Like, what are we doing here? What C route is that? Kind of weak. Now, I will tell you that there's no streak on this side of the field to push this guy down the field a little bit more. You know? If he would have went instead of his out route to the tight end, maybe go streak to the tight end. If he goes streak, that take that like we saw earlier, take that deep blue back down the field a little bit more to hit that C route. A good zone right here, good flat zone covers this guy up. Obviously, there's no deep threat, so I mean, just good defense all in all, really. You kind of want that catch though, you kind of do. No, but if you don't need knockout abilities, then then we're just going RNG like it was old school, right? We're just going old school R&B. Are we going with a run? Let's see. I mean, ooh, that was pretty. For sure. I mean, I mean that safety was embarrassing. That's what I see. I think this is spinner. No, maybe not. But this safety right here, dude. Now, obviously, he picks the wrong hole. And then, actually, this wide receiver is blocking too well for my liking. He's pushing this guy backwards. And that's what causes this right here, you know. But you got to make that play with Edwards. Like, And then Edwards. I don't know who Edwards is, but wow, what a terrible angle. Now, this is a skill gap. I'll teach you guys one thing about And this is football, if you guys play football or anything. Dude, 
you cannot let him get the sideline. One, this corner needs to second contain outside shoulder right here, boys. Come on, what are we doing? You cannot let this running back get up the sideline as that corner. One, this corner got sealed already. The safety took a bad angle inside. Then this corner gets sealed, and then this safety, you know, this is why football is such a team sport. You know, this safety is relying on this corner to seal the edge here, and he just is getting mauled by Gabe Davis. So nobody sets the edge, and this guy takes a terrible angle and gives up a touchdown. But I'll but I tell you, as far as a Madden player, I, I'm not relying on this guy right here. I'm, I'm taking, and this is another thing. Who cares if he gets the first down? Who cares if he gets 20 yards? He can't get to the end zone. And the way to stop him going from the end zone is cutting off that outside and making him slow down, making him stop. If he slows down, then your other 10 guys can come help you tackle. So I would always take this angle really wide, almost run to the three here, maybe even to the 20. Just get out of here. Give him one last line. Don't make it a make or break. It's third down. It's not fourth and two for the game. You don't want to give up a touchdown on this run. It's such it's something when I watch ScoMo play, and I did all them coaching sessions with him. I'm like, dude, you got to, like, be a better tackler. You guys, one thing you learn from this video is, like, dude, don't go to try to tackle him here. Try to tackle him at the NFL Shield. You know, let's take a better angle right here. It's, it's football, you know. He got, like, a little, I don't know, he got, like, a little, and he, he flattened out. It was pretty bad. I hope that wasn't a computer. But the computer does that. That's the one thing. The computer will take a bad angle. That's what. The, that's why it's paramount for you to be clicking on controlling the angles, especially at least one angle in the field. Because if you can control one good angle in the field, the other idiots can come help you tackle. You know. Verts again. Sure, Davis White doesn't knock that down. All right. Let's see here. All right, we're a two-minute drill here. I wonder how fast he can snap. We got a C route on the right here. Let's see how it does man coverage. C route is super bagged. All right, clock is running here. Man, two men under again. Y is open. Y beat the press. Oh, he saw what I saw, but oh, good swat right there. Like, look how easily he beats the press, dude. But then, like, he's on a, yeah, he's on that whip route. Smokes the press. This is where I wish he could just go straight. Like, look at him right here. In. And I think the only way you throw this pass is, like, right now. But he actually caught up pretty well there. Bagged right there. Man coverage looks tough to me. It's just like man coverage always is. There's going to be somebody open here. Oh, good pass to Kelsey. Oh, good knockout. That's a suction animation right there. Pause. Didn't expect this one to get knocked out. This is where maybe the high ball, we're so used to high ball, and just, just snap it in there to Kelsey. Snap it in. Boom, right there. X. You see cover three, him rolling to the middle. Bang, snap it in. You throw the high ball, and he breaks it up on the high ball. That's going to be good. I mean, it's a tough play right there. We got a fourth and ten right here. Looks like quarters, actually. Knocked out. Another animation that we don't see that all we don't see. And he's actually holding a strip, I think, which is an old school way to strip the ball out here. Yeah, this is quarters. Match coverage. Boom. Knocks the butt. Dope. Just a dope animation, man, for real. Oh, here we go. Oh, goes for a strip. Breaks through the tackle. That's how Yup, I love to see it. More broken tackles on strip animations. I don't want to see the strip animation being that viable in Madden 24. Reverse, double. Ooh, nice play. Ooh. Sad to tell you. Ooh, he gets out of there. This will just never be a viable play in Madden. Don't, don't, don't even know. Look cool though. It does. I'm telling you, the movement look always looks stiff and nasty. Oh, good blocking. 41, good block. So I'm not seeing any moves from these guys. But I can't lie. I'm, I'm trying to catch a juke right here or something. He tries to truck him? No, nothing. Toss again. Okay, well, why doesn't 88 or 41 see this guy? 
I'd be pissed right now. If I have two I have two free blockers and they don't see this white guy right here, they're going to the second level. I don't want to hear about defense. That's shitty blocking. I don't care. That's bad blocking. I'd be pissed. I don't believe. I'll believe that when I see it. I like the run. I mean, let's go. I just feel like it definitely the user feels clunky. The movement open field feels but The crossing route was open. That in route is open. Big play. Oh, my God, dude. Once again, just terrible contain. I don't know. Is that Van – no, isn't that Korlafis, Karolafis, the Greek guy, I guess, from uh, Kansas City? Like, look at this. Like, you don't have a shot to catch Josh Allen. And just a great animation, too. Look at the animation. No, no slowdown, no nothing. Boom and go. The quarterback looks OP. That's what I feel. I feel like – oh, screen? Are we back? Is the 360 no-scope back? The 360 no scope is back confirmed. I mean, I, I need to see some jukes. Oh, damn! Big shed from the user. Was that the user? Yeah. Von Miller. Oh, pick. That's a great. Yeah, that's a great cloud zone right there. Look at that vert hook matching though. It's just cover two. You got a mid read. I don't know. If you, you got a mid read. You got two vert hooks. This vert hook drops down, takes the damn drag. I mean, I feel like you have a window on this, and you can also probably freeform up a little higher, but maybe not, dude. That's just a great cloud zone. Look how far back he is. It's not a drop either, because if it was a drop, that zone wouldn't match. So that's just a stock cloud. Or that's a good play. We, that's the second. That's the second cloud zone we've seen with Davius White make a big play. Circle. I mean, Josh Allen is absolutely dominant. I like I. As bad as it was a pocket passing last game or last year, this year it looks looking like the mobile quarterback. That's the one takeaway I've taken away from this: is the mobile quarterback is ridiculous again. Oh, that's a pick. Oh my God. We love that. The covers team, he threw the ball right at this guy, and he swats it. Dog, I, I, I can see if it was a hard pick, but that's terrible, dude. He's got to pick that off. You know, I shouldn't need pick artists for my computer to go for a pick on that pass. Oh, he fries. See, that's that. I'm telling you, that's that, that new rack animation. Look where the ball is. I don't know if that's a high pass. It might be. I don't know if deep knockout and man is going to be that OP because of the animations alone. I don't like the onside kick. I'm going to know now. Nobody likes onside kicks being viable in Madden here. Bunch vertical. Oh, there it is. The high ball drop. Dude, this is. Oh, my God. Just nasty. And then that's got to be acrobat, huh? I can't lie. Kelsey shouldn't drop the ball, dude. Kelsey shouldn't drop the ball. I don't care. Maybe Parham or fucking even Waller, but not Kelsey. He's a 99, dude. Kelsey can't be the one dropping. It's interesting. It does feel like a game with a lot of the changes. There's a lot of habit breaking. Oh, another one. Another absolute swat. Why? Like, come on, dude. Seems like from what I see, we're going to need to pick artists again. A little run right there. Nice tackle. Roll out again. Right on the blitz. Actually brutal. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he gets a fumble, though. If he makes this throw, dude. Oh, my God. Josh Allen is OP. That's all I learned. Look at that end. Corner strike looks kind of powerful. I'll, I'll tell you that much, boys. Against zone. Why? Good throw. 
See, I want to juke right there. Good throw right there. He's not catching that. That's a good. That's a good defense. Looks like cover three. Looks like seam to Kelsey. I would uh, maybe RPO to Kelsey. Oh no, good run. Touchdown. That zone would piss me off right there, dude. You're right there. You're there. You're there. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's a good catch. All right, boys. I've about seen enough. Listen, there it is. That's our first look. That's our, not our first look, but a full game. Two good players. The quarterback looks OP. That's what I tell you. I didn't see any moves in open field. It's kind of boring. But, you know, we'll see how the game, when the game comes out. Try to break the game with juke, spin moves, whatever it may be, stiff arm truck. Uh, the quarterback looks OP. Tell you that. Uh, I mean, the defense looks good too. The high ball is not consistent. I would tell you, I know we hate the high ball, but if you try to play man 23 without it, it's terribly hard to pass the ball. It's terribly hard to like fit the ball in there, not get it knocked out, not get zones to play it. The high ball kind of is needed in man 23. So if the defense plays the same and now high ball is not consistent or it's bouncing off my 99 overall player's hands for a pick, I, I think that's going to be tough. Might be defensive, but we'll see how it goes here early in Madden 24. I'm excited for Madden. Appreciate you guys watching these old Madden 23 videos. We're going to hit it hard. Madden 24, man. This was just re me reacting to the video. I hadn't watched it before this. So, it was dope. I think it looks awesome. Super excited for the game. Uh, the animations alone, dude, I'm excited to play. August 15th, you guys know, twitch.tv slash dub dive if you want to watch me live. I'm going to talk about the MCS news. I'm going to put that on YouTube. I'm also doing podcasts tonight. If you guys are watching this, that's going to be on Twitch. I'm going to talk all about the MCS news. Uh, and if it's a good format, if there's money to be made, and should you go pro in Madden, let me know what you guys think about this video, Madden 24, how's it looking?